Three more days to register to vote in the November election. Local elected officials and supporters of the Biden campaign held a news conference outside the Miami-Dade Supervisor of Elections Office to encourage residents to exercise that right by requesting a vote-by-mail ballot and sending it in early. Right now, Florida Congressman Ted Deutsch is a Biden campaign surrogate. He is joining us to talk more about the campaign. But before we do that, Congressman, I want to ask you about your thoughts on the president being taken to the hospital this afternoon and what impact this will have on the country moving forward. Uh, well, it's good to be with you. We're obviously concerned. Um, we hope that the, the president and the first lady and, and everyone in the White House who's been uh, infected has a, a swift and a full recovery. Uh, the, the most important thing now is to ensure full transparency so that we know the condition of the president, so that we know that everything is being carried out the way that it should, uh, and so that we're, we're certain that the country is in good hands. That's, that's going to require... Congressman, I apologize. We lost your audio there at the end of that. Uh, would you like to reiterate your thoughts there? Um, no, we're, we're hoping we're hoping for a full recovery, a speedy recovery, and and um, and in the meantime, we want to make sure that that we know exactly what's happening with the president. Full transparency is what the American people need. Well, the president has said repeatedly that the only way he loses is if the election is rigged, and he does not accept the results even after court disputes are settled. So, what can you do as a congressman to ensure a peaceful transition of power? Well, the first and most important thing for us to realize is that there will be a peaceful transition of power because that's what happens in democracies. That's what sets us apart from uh, from countries that are run by autocrats, by countries that uh, so many people in South Florida have fled. Um, we understand here what happens when the leader of the country refuses to, to respect the will of the voters and commit to a peaceful transition. Uh, that's one of the reasons that I'm so confident that the president is going to carry, not just uh, this win this election, but will carry Florida as well. Um, we, uh, we're going to make sure that, that the Constitution is filed, that our democracy is upheld. And the president, though he sounds desperate and, and weak when he says things like that, um, the president doesn't understand that we're not going to tolerate that kind of attitude. Now, you're a surrogate for the Biden campaign. How would you like to see Vice President Biden uh, move forward right now, given that we have President Trump in the hospital. He's going to be there for a few days. We've already heard from the Biden campaign that they're going to take down negative ads. Do you think that's a good idea? And how should the vice president proceed? We know he's going to be in Miami on Monday. Sure. Well, one of the, the most important parts of Vice President Biden's campaign is that he's spent this entire campaign throughout the, the pandemic talking about the challenges that we face resulting from the pandemic, the steps that we need to take together. So sorry about that. Good the catch, that we good catch. Take. Thank you very much. The steps that we need to take together to ensure that we're gonna get through this, that we're gonna address the economic challenges and the health challenges, uh, and to show what a leader does during a pandemic. The president, um, the president is in the hospital, Vice President Biden has an obligation, I think, to continue to speak to the American people about all of the ways that he can help lead us out of this and build us back better even than we were before this pandemic. Congressman Deutsch, there's a new poll out today from FIU, which shows the president does very well among Cuban Americans in South Florida. 59% plan to vote for him, and Cuban Americans typically always been reliable Republican voters. What do you think that 59% sees in the president, and why can't Joe Biden win them over? Well, I, I'll, um, Carly, I'll tell you what I've heard a lot from the community in South Florida. Uh, there are a lot of people who have listened to the president. They saw the debate performance. They saw his refusal to condemn white supremacists. They saw his refusal to acknowledge that he'll he'll uh, recognize a peaceful transition of power. And they know that that sounds so much like what so many of them, uh, what caused so many of them 
to leave the, the countries that they came here from. And look, that, that kind of talk really concerns people. And when the president and his attorney general look like they're conspiring to seize and hold on to power regardless of what the people say, um, that's what's leading so many people to realize that they have an alternative in Joe Biden, someone who will unify the country, someone who will bring us back together, uh, and someone, most importantly, who recognizes the importance of preserving our democracy that sets us apart from the, the countries, so many countries around the world, uh, where autocrats rule and where they don't respect the rule of law. Okay, Congressman Ted Deutsch, uh, good job holding on to that camera. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> for Dedication. Joining us. <laughs> Great right. replay. Thanks. Thanks for having me. I appreciate Thank you. it.